and I'm Alex and we are the Science Kids. Today we're going to be talking about the history of women in space. But first, let's go to space. Whoa, Whoa look, look at the galaxy. galaxy. This is awesome. so cool. So let's get right to it. So you may have heard of Yuri Gagarin in 1961, who was the first man to go out to go to outer space. You also may have heard of John Glenn, who in 1962 became the first American man to go into outer space. Or Neil Armstrong, who in 1969 was the first man on the moon. These were truly awesome things that we did. But where are the women involved? People at the time didn't believe that women should pursue a career in science. So women didn't get the same opportunities as men, but some women overcame this. For example, you may have heard of Valentina Tereshkova, the first woman to go into outer space, or of Sally Ride, the first American woman to go out of space. You also may have heard of Helen Sherman, the first British person to go into outer space, or Mae Jamison, the first African American to go to outer space. These were, the, the list goes on and on and on. So many more people did this. 60 women have gone, out, have gone to outer space. But the, the women behind the scenes were integral to the success of the space program. There are so many women that you didn't see that went into space, but were critical in the space program. For example, let's take Pickering's Harem as an example. The Pickering's Harem were a group of women who worked at the Harvard Observatory. Williamina Fleming, Annie Jump Cannon, Henrietta Swan Levitt, and Antonia Mori were all members of the Pickering's Harem and, and were truly great women, but they didn't get the recognition they deserved. Without them, the space program wouldn't be where it is today. These women are all heroes, and I hope to be one someday. I am going to be one of the first humans on Mars. Anyone can be one of these heroes. All you have to do is dream big and never give up. But most importantly, it is up to all of us to help each other. Boys should help girls and girls should help boys. I believe that both women and men should, should participate and be appreciated in their pursuit of science. We hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for our next few videos. Click the button on the left to subscribe and click the button on the right to check out our website. And as always, science everywhere and in everything.